Well, <laughs> this is a bit different. Hello YouTube, it's Joanna Delilah. Um, I'm in the 1920s, well half of me is. Um, I'm just filming this video because I'm a college lecturer in makeup and oh, I'm looking in the wrong place again. College lecturer in makeup, we can't teach in the classroom at the moment so I'm doing some videos for my students and I thought I may as well pop them on here as well. Um, feel a bit daft really. Since when do I feel daft? Why am I even saying that? What a lie, I don't even care. Um, just babbling as usual. So, a little bit about the 1920s makeup. Now, obviously, there's never going to be a whole decade of 10 years where everyone looked exactly the same and wore the same style of makeup. So, I'm not saying this is the definitive 20s makeup, but it is one of the standout makeup looks of the era. Um, and it is the flapper girl which i am way too old i am aware don't not really wearing well on my 40 odd year old 47 or am i 46 too old to be a flapper girl anyway um so if i was in the 20s i would have probably had my eyebrows like this i would have had really really skinny eyebrows maybe i might have worn a i probably would have worn a bit of rouge on the cheeks and maybe a red lip I doubt I would have worn at my age any eyeshadow if I was in the 1920s. But if I was a young, trendy teenager, I absolutely would be rocking this really, really dark, smoky eye. Um, so I've blocked out my eyebrows with soap. So for one, that's why the look looks even more crazy and a bit over the top theatrical is because, well, it is over the top theatrical. In that era, they would not have blocked out their eyebrows and had them drawn on with face paint. They would have used a pencil to draw on the line. Um, but the shape that I've got here is fairly accurate to the 1920s. It was almost like a diagonal line, really, just with a very fine slope. And they came really low down. So they start high and come really low down like this. Um, they also wanted to sort of emphasise their eyes to be like the damsel in distress so if you look at um, images for silent movies of the 1920s a lot of the female heroines had you know slopey eyebrows kind of make them look a little bit sad like a little kind of lost dolly or something I don't know I'm rambling again um, so that was that was the fashion trend it was um, quite a big change uh, in terms of makeup previously to the 1920s makeup wasn't really uh, popular at all um, it was looked down on and people if they wanted to get makeup products they'd maybe get a little bit of rouge to put on their cheeks it would be they would purchase it from a store and they would go in and out a discreet back entrance of the store because it was such a taboo thing to buy makeup no one would openly admit to wearing makeup they would think make people think that they naturally had just pink flush cheeks and then in the 1920s um it was a bit of a revolution really uh selfridges had opened up by then in um london and it mr selfridge if anyone's ever watched the show i used to love that show um but he kind of brought the makeup counters to our country uh to the uk before that nobody like I said, people would, people would hide out the way and secretly buy makeup. And Selfridges just opened up makeup counters pretty much as we know them now. Everything was out on display. Um, people could go in and have makeup tried on them. Ladies who work there would do like makeup demos and things. So it just kind of was quite a massive change. And so young ladies wanted to break away from all of the um, rules and regulations of being an Edwardian back in the sort of 1910s and 15s where women were very much sort of seen and not heard so the flapper girl changed all that came out nightclubbing wearing bright red lipstick as much eyeshadow as they could possibly get on it was a statement look so it is a, it is a crazy look but it was making a big statement also it would have looked a lot better on them than it does on me so bear with me just to talk you through the look so i've said about the eyebrows the eyeshadow was very dark and smoky i've used a dark brown i'm going to do the other eye in a minute and show you the the characteristic shape of the eyeshadow in the 1920s 
um, on the cheeks they would have worn blusher, like a peachy pink like I've got, and mostly on the apples of the cheeks. And the lips, if I come a bit closer in, are slightly underdrawn. So they wanted to have like a tiny little lip. If you imagine like that cartoon character, Betty Boop or Googler, um, that's kind of the look that the flapper girl liked, a tiny little mouth, massive eyes and big sort of slopey eyebrows. Um, so how I did this eyeshadow, so I've blocked out my brow and there is another video for that. I'm gonna use a, um, excuse the mess, it's covered in silver pigment. Gonna use a black cream liner first of all. And I'm gonna apply that over the lid. And what's key in the 1920s look is it's almost like an inside out version of ours look today. What we would normally have is our eyeshadow tends to go up and out at that angle. The 20s was the reverse, it was up and in. So it's almost kind of, I suppose, triangular. You're coming right the way up to the inner corner of the where your natural eyebrow would be. So you're coming a little bit higher up there. And I'm just gonna blend this all over the lid. And we're going right into that corner. Can you see that shape? So we're going a little bit higher here and just rounding it out slightly. And then all the way over the lid. Is that, has she got something naughty that she's just opened the bin? <laughs> That's the dog. <laughs> and bless her, Melody's trying to silently discipline the dog. <laughs> just Stop heard her going, drop, drop. <laughs> <laughs> She got a bit of tissue, I think. Uh, a little bit more of that black eyeliner underneath, and I'm going to connect that at the outer corner there. A little bit goes a long way. I'm using a fluffy brush so that it um, it will kind of blend it as I go. There we are. Next thing I'm going to do is go over the top of that with a dark brown eyeshadow. Now, in the 1920s, there wouldn't have been such a thing as an eyeshadow palette. They would have been lucky to have had one or maybe two colours. There wasn't a great amount of um, textures either. So I'm using a matte dark brown shadow and I'm just pressing that all the way over the top, wherever that... Um, where the black gel liner is. I always like to use a black gel liner underneath a smoky eye, even if I'm doing like a normal makeup. It's even normal, you know, like a modern makeup. Um, because it really helps you get intensity. Even if you went over the black with like a light shimmery pigment, not for the 20s, I'm, do, I'm going off on a tangent now. Um, but if you go over a black with like a light shimmery pigment, try it out, it looks stunning and it just really gives you a your um, pigments more uh, vibrancy. A little bit of that brown underneath, so I'm just going over the top of that. Can't do it without opening my mouth. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go around the edge with a blending brush. It's just got a little bit of shadow on it, but really just what's left on the brush from when I did the other eye, actually. So blend your edges a bit, make it nice and cloudy and smoky, but resist the temptation, makeup students this is, if you're trying to recreate the 20s flapper look, it's not going to be a neat look, there's going to be no shimmer, there's going to be no transition shades, they would have had one, probably one eyeshadow. So the key things are the wonky weird eyebrows, <laughs> um, and this characteristic high shape, smoky all the way around the eye, little lips, pop of um, rouge on the cheeks. 
blend the edges but don't perfect it don't use blender color or transition shades as we call them just have a bit of a smoky edge and there we are i'm ready to go out for my little speakeasy or whatever they call them. <laughs> oh i hear i do hear it i do hear myself talk when i think joe shut up a bit of mascara um they would have worn mascara but not um not in the main they wouldn't have worn false lashes false lashes were a thing in the 20s but again only really for the film stars they weren't in general use at that time um, but they would have blackened their eyelashes as well um, i might do another video because i wasn't gonna make this one even longer um, but i've got some interesting facts about the invention of mascara and little things like that and what happened when so i might do a separate video talking through a little bit about the history of makeup but this is the 1920s look that we are going to recreate so college students i'm talking to or anyone else who wants to have a go um so i hope this was useful i'm very distracted looking at myself i stopped looking over there there you are you're in that green dot <laughs> and i will see you next time when i do something else a bit mad and pointless uh, thanks for watching. Bye.